Hi guys, welcome to this video in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you the difference between setting a task as auto scheduled or manual schedule and what the impact would be if you change them. So first of all, let me just create a couple of tasks. So project A and then task A, task B, and I will indent these two just so they sit with the title and just give some durations to those two two like so now i've got mine set um as auto scheduled that's default down the bottom here i've changed that in settings for going to file options under schedule you can make every new project i've changed it this to be every new project all new projects are auto scheduled now that is not the default the default is manually scheduled and I'll tell you for why I don't like that. Now, this is a summary task, but the fact I've indented it, it makes it a summary task. You've also got an option to use this little feature here, summary task. Now, if you create a summary task like I've done there, this summarizes the subtasks underneath it. So if I change that duration, for example, to three days, that's telling me that this project is lasting three days because that's the longest duration. If I link these two tasks together by just Type in two in that column there, predecessors. This project is now saying five days because these are following on, and you, you can see the five day gap. Problem occurs if, if I do this. If I accidentally type four on that line there, what I've done there is I've immediately forced this to be a manual schedule task. That's already that changed over. Now I've got a red line under the date. Because the duration underneath this summary is now longer than the summary is. And it's not showing it correctly. You can see it there, look. So I'll just put that back to, I'll just undo that auto, auto scheduled. Also, if you create a task that's manually scheduled, if I drop this little arrow down and just select manual, and I'll type task C, what you don't get is all this information, start, finish date, and you don't get an indicator. Um, on there, if I put a duration of two days, I get the indicator, but it's 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 not showing me the dates, even though on the Gantt chart it is showing me today's date, but it's not doing it there. If I put this to auto scheduled, it will put the dates in, and it'll see it like that. So that's the difference, really. A lot of people, um, Microsoft himself, say that this manual schedule feature is when you don't have a clue about time scales for your project and you just want to list a set of tasks and then you put the times to it later, which is a fair comment. However, what that causes is people not to notice that these tasks are not being summarized correctly because they've been left on manual scheduling. If you're gonna do it like this, where you're putting a series of tasks in on manual, it's absolutely, in my mind, imperative that you knock them back over to auto scheduled once you've confirmed when things are going to go otherwise the summary tasks and then the project summary task is not going to be clocking up the time timeline correctly so that's just basically the difference between a manual task and a automated scheduled task so that's all i want to talk about in this little video the difference between automatically scheduled and manual scheduled tasks so thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.